Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vitmill, and this is the future. Laser projection keyboard. Don't look like much, but let's see what it can do. So first of all, let's talk about the sponsor. Me. Let's not talk about me. Let's talk about this little beauty. Should we turn it on? Should we see what it does? There you go. There's a keyboard, look. Can't really see it because it's not supposed to be used on back of your hand. But we'll have a close look in a minute. First of all, let's take a look at the specifications and the features. So it stands at a mere 7.8 centimeters by four centimeters by two centimeters. Weighing in at a whopping 55 grams. It's, it's like lightless, but there is absolutely no weight to it whatsoever. As you can see here, it charges by micro USB. There's a power button here. A little keyring lanyard thing there. Speaker here. That's pretty much as much as we need to know. It uses a red laser diode to project the keyboard which comes out at 24 centimeters by 10 centimeters and it stands nine centimeters away from the actual device. It is suggested for the best use to use it on a flat, opaque, non-reflective surface. A really quite amazing thing about it is it's got a recognition rate of up to 350 characters a minute. Now I know that there'll be people in the world that can do up to 600, but for 350 characters per minute is a pretty fast typing speed. I think it's pretty much the average office typing speed. But like I said, people that type constantly all day every day will be faster. The charge rate is a 0.5 amps and it's got a 700 milliamp hour battery. So it's going to run for about two hours and take an hour and a half to charge, which I think is nice and decent. As, as far as I'm concerned, as long as the charge rate, charging time is lower, than the time it takes to use it, then it keeps me happy to be fair. It has Bluetooth version 3 and it runs on a frequency of 2402 to 2480 mHz. It's got the QWERTY keyboard layout and something that I really like about it is the shortcut keys still work. On the demo I'll try and show you that in a minute like Ctrl A still gets, Shift A still covers everything and it is really cool that it does work like an actual keyboard. It has also got a mouse function, so you can lose it like a touchpad. You can scroll, click, drag, right click. It's compatible with Windows, XP and up, Windows 7 phones and up, Android 4 and up, Mac OS X and up. You can turn the sound on and off and it's got power saving options built in. So that means if you don't use it for 30 seconds, the light will dim. If you don't use it for five minutes, it will go into standby to save the battery. I like it. I really do like it. It is a nifty, very lightweight, and it works a hell of a lot. I did already film the going down bit, but to show you how it works. However, it didn't work. The device worked, my computer didn't. So we're going to try that again, and then that'll be the end of the video. This is going up for grabs, guys, this exact one. I've got one on sale on eBay. Uh, see the link in the description for that. And this one is going out for giveaway. So, all you have to do is subscribe, comment down below, and you'll be in for a chance of winning. Please do share, much love. The giveaway will be posted a week after the... The giveaway, the giveaway will close a week after it opens. So if you look in the description to read the terms and conditions, it will say that there. Please do read the terms and conditions because you will have to pay postage. That's it, guys. So let's go down and check it out, see how much it works, and then we'll be off. Peace. So all we have to do to get it working is press and turn on, and it's already connected. So we're cracking. And that's it. So all we have to do now is start typing. So how about we do... Hello. YouTube. And then for the show of it, let's put an exclamation mark. So just hold the shift. 
and press the exclamation mark button. Bang. Now, I did mention it does shortcuts, so let's press control, and you can see the blue light starts to flash. Press A, that selects everything, and delete everything. But to bring everything back, if we just press control like we normally would, and press Z, it will bring everything back. And that is as simple as it is, guys. That's how the shortcuts work. Another shortcut in regards to functionality, if we press FN, and press the down button, it'll turn the brightness down, turn the brightness back up. Turn the volume up and turn the volume down. So now we'll be able to type. If we press Control A, delete, we're now typing in silence. It is absolutely brilliant. I don't know how we managed it, but we have. It is a very wonderful thing to have. Cheers, guys. Peace.